Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a shared mailbox. And this can be accessible on the admin center in Microsoft. You need to have an admin access or permission for that one in order to create a shared mailbox. So what's the difference between a regular mailbox and a shared mailbox? Normally, a regular mailbox needs a license and you need to purchase that. While a shared mailbox, you it's a free one that can be tied to a regular mailbox. So yeah, um, normally the shared mailbox are something like podcast or maybe a support or a, let's say, accounting app or something. So for you to access the shared mailbox, again, go into the admin that Microsoft.com and you should able to see this page in here, this admin center by clicking this area called admin center. So you click this tree for that. So this is visible once you log into the admin center of Microsoft. And then you click this part in here, this free people icon and go into the shared mailbox. Okay. So to create a shared mailbox, super self-explanatory, you click the shared mailbox one, you put in the name and then the name of the mailbox. And then you click save. Okay. Now, if you want this to be tied on a different person, you just need to click on like add member to shared mailbox. And then I'm going to add myself. Okay. And then search why I'm not showing. Okay. I'm going to add myself and click add. And um, this is super important. So once the account or the user is already added into the shared mailbox, then the, it they can they can start linking this shared mailbox to their regular email. Now let's see. Let's go into my share. Let's go into the mailbox, the shared mailbox that I created. And yeah, here is the primary um, email address. Um, you can also come up with a forwarding. Now I have something like a permission in here. So my regular email address can be shared or so I, I check that out. So you can also remove that options. But basically my regular email address has an options to read, manage, send on, on behalf using this email address. Now in order for us to tie up or to, to connect this email address to my regular um, Outlook account or Outlook off email account. You go into your Outlook account and then you, so these are the some of the shared mailbox that I already created. So to add a shared mailbox to an individual office email, they just need to go into the folder section, right click and click the add shared folder. And then you put in the name, or the email address that you created. And then you click that, you click the add, and that can be only be added if you already um, put the individual or regular email to the member section. If you didn't put their email address, then they cannot access the shared mailbox into their outlook. Now, if you go in, in here, I already have the shared mailbox here everything should be accessible, okay? Now, what if you want to um, reset or have to connect your shared mail mailbox to an application that may be the HubSpot one, what you can do in is to reset the email of your shared mailbox. And that can be done again by going to the active users. Now we will be going to the active users section for us to reset the shared mailbox. Now I'm going to put in support the shared mailbox that I created. And then I click that one and I should have an options in here to reset an account or delete the user. So this is how you can um, reset and navigate your shared mailbox. So if you also want to remove the authentication out, which is super common in, in Microsoft, um, 
I have a tutorial for you that you can take a look on that. It's about Azure Portal Center. So take a look at that if you are having a hard time to log into your shared mailbox. And if you also want to access the other products that you put in on a shared mailbox, you can also reset the password. If you don't know what the password is, you click the reset password. You have an option to set your own password and um, put in the, I mean, if this will be sent to someone, then you need to send like something like an email address for them to sign in. Okay, and then of course, we want to delete the user or the shared mailbox and you put an alternate email address. And then the other thing as well that you can do for a shared mailbox is you can set up under the shared, um, let's go into the shared mailbox option. Let's search again uh, the shared mailbox we created. You also have an options to um, set up a forwarding, but I'm just not sure the forwarding is a bit glitchy for me. Sometimes I'm having problems. I don't really recommend to um, set an email forwarding for a shared mailbox. Now, if you want to send on behalf of this one, I mean, if you are using a, your regular email address like mine, which is Angie, and I want to send as support, then this needs to be um your email address needs to be added as sent on behalf. And yeah, in order for you to send as support, even though you're using a different email address, you can go in to your um, Outlook again or regular email address. And if you um, send an email, just click the new tab to fully see your um compose setting or message setup but yeah if you click that there if normally you can only see the to and cc but under the option thing if you want to show the from you just need to check that one and then you put in because currently i'm using angie which is my regular email address and if i want to put the the shared mailbox that i i just tied it to my account then you just need to put in you just need to type in there the name there. Don't worry about not it's not visible in there because sometimes um if you haven't used it yet, then it won't be visible. But if you already send that over, you already tried testing it. Let me just put that one into my let me create a test email. So test email. Now if you already done that thing, that shared mailbox should be registered there I click that oh it's not working anyway i'll i'll take a look at that but yeah that's how it works guys if i log into my gmail one which i already tested you see that the support it, I'm, even though i'm using the angie one the angie outlook it still sends from support at talwoodrender.com so that's how it works, guys. Hope it helped. And if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask me. Have a great day.